Hello, this is Suzanne from Tara Business Development at taranet.co.uk. Welcome to this short guide to animal care careers, where to start. Many of you contact us here at Taranet asking for information on how you can work with animals. And there are, of course, many options. If you know someone who's interested in working with animals, then please share this slideshow with them. I hope you find it helpful and if you have any questions, then do please email us at info at taranet.co.uk or contact us via social media. So, what are the options for working with animals? You could choose to work directly with animals. A few options are listed on this slide. From the veterinary science to grooming. That can mean grooming for horses, dogs or any other animal, perhaps in a zoo or animal sanctuary or in a livery yard or kennels. Or you could become a complementary therapist. This could include anything from physiotherapy to osteopathy, chiropractic, hydrotherapy, plus many others. For more ideas on complementary therapy options, have a look at our website at taranet.co.uk and look at the directory for free advice and information on the many therapies available. There are, of course, many other jobs from jockeys to farrier and lots of others. Or you could choose to work in a more generic sector, such as journalism, retail, sales, insurance, and then specialise working with animals. For example, as an equestrian sports journalist or a pet care insurance specialist. One thing we would say is don't assume you're not qualified. Experience and transferable skills can really help. And if you do need to complete a course for your chosen career, there are often options for mature students. Often that means just that you're over the age of 21. So you don't necessarily need to start right at the bottom. But it's, it is important to be well skilled. So what do we mean by that? Well, continuous professional development, or CPD as it's often known as, is often a requirement as membership for many professional associations in any sector, not just animals. Completing CPD means that you not only keep up to date with the latest research techniques and ideas, it also means for your customers, your animal customers, that you're providing them with the latest research and latest um, ideas and offering them the best possible service. Completing a first aid course for people and animals is a great idea and something not everybody thinks of. However, if you're working with the direct, directly with the public or their animals, being prepared for every eventuality is a great idea and can make a potentially stressful situation a lot more easy to cope with. Having multiple skills is also helpful. For instance, many pets don't like the vets and more and more vets and veterinary nurses are training in Reiki or Tellington Touch to help make the veterinary visit a lot less stressful. Whichever career you choose, if you're working with animals or providing advice regarding animal health, make sure that you're working within the relevant legislation. In the UK, you must work within the confines of the Veterinary Surgeons Act 1966. But wherever you are in the world, it's important to check what the legislation is in your area. So check with your local government departments. If you'd like more information on starting up your own business working with animals, have a look at the ebook that I've written and it's available at Amazon. The link is on the screen. I hope you found that helpful. Here at Taranet, we offer a range of services to help you succeed. Some of those are listed on the slide here. But if you have any questions, then do please feel free to email us at info at taranet.co.uk or have a look at our website at taranet.co.uk with lots of information and advice. Thanks for listening and until next time.